Roland Pericles says she'd just finished her studies, but had little hope of finding work in her hometown in Hades North, where she lives with her daughter and other extended family members. Then Kodavi opened nearby. She got a job as a seamstress there and has steadily climbed the ranks since. Roland now works overseeing many of her colleagues, producing trademark clothing at Codevi, an industrial park developed and run by the Dominican manufacturing company Grupo M. The International Finance Corporation, the private sector arm of the World Bank Group, has been a partner to Grupo M in helping develop and expand Codevi since 2003. The industrial park is providing desperately needed jobs in and around the economically depressed city of Wanamant on the Haitian-Dominican border. Uh, actuellement, uh, nous sommes uh, 6500 uh, employés ici à la Côte d'Ivoire. Et emploi direct, bien entendu. Mais si uh, on voit pour chaque personne qui travaille ici, uh, peut avoir quelques cinq autres personnes sous sa dépendance, c'est-à-dire que uh, cela veut dire beaucoup pour uh, la communauté de Wanamant. Codevi employees make clothes ranging from jeans to lingerie. The brand name clothing is shipped to foreign markets, which benefit from Haiti's duty-free exporter status. Lead times are short. We're just two days from Miami. Um, the operators, the stamina and the quality that they have is um, outstanding, world-class production. Codevi has an active employees union, the only privately owned company in Haiti to have one, and Kodevi workers have access to health and education benefits. The manufacturing company houses a radio station for workers and the community at large, focusing on music, news, and cultural programs. And Kodevi's community outreach programs are helping upgrade neighboring areas through financing to projects like this one, encouraging local school children to reforest. Kodevi employees start at a minimum wage, but can work themselves up to more senior positions and higher salaries, like Roland, the coordinator. Johnny Ornay lost his job and livelihood in Port-au-Prince two years ago when the earthquake there destroyed his welding shop. He moved north and started at Kodevi as a sewer. Johnny's now being trained to repair company sewing machines. Un jour, j'ai parlé avec un, un ingénieur. Il m'a dit, il n'y a pas de problème parce que tu travailles beaucoup et tu et tu sais comment comment faire. Alors, je je vous donnerai la possibilité d'aller dans la mécanique. He'll soon make enough, he says, to marry his girlfriend and help take care of the baby's son and home they have together. <laughs>